Do you find yourself struggling with time management? Then you definitely want to tune in to today's version of Ask Keisha. Today's Ask Keisha question comes in from Miss Michelle Rains, and this is what she writes. It says, how do you get over or around or through and conquer the monster called time management? Michelle, you are so not alone in this question. Many, many people write in to me and ask me this question probably on a weekly basis at least, But I just want to comfort you in knowing that you're not the only one. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to, um, first of all, just, you know, not compare yourself, right? So don't, comparison is the thief of joy is what I like to always tell people. So sometimes we see people and they are masters at, you know, at managing their time. And sometimes we see, you know, we think like, wow, I wish I could be just like them. And we think they have it all together. And I'm getting ready to shatter, you know, some of you all's perception, right? Because it's going to be your perception of myself. Um, I'm not the best time manager, right? Um, I I have just gotten to a place where what I would do, my productivity notebook, it looks like this. There are five things that I accomplish each and every single day without um, compromise, okay? Um, and so those things have to be done in the span of the day, right? For me, I normally like to block out about from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. to say, okay, this is the time block in which I'm going to do work, productivity work, as if I was showing up for a job, that's the time I'm going to do do work, okay? Now, those five things I have on my list, it's my goal that once I get to 2 o'clock that I'm done with that. Right, and that's kind of how I how I've found that it worked for me. I'm not saying to you that it's the very best way because I'm learning now that um, being a little bit more structured is better because I find myself from eleven to two, like okay, where the time go, and you know, and I, it would only take me an hour really to do what I have to do. Nevertheless, Michelle, depending upon your situation, I, I want you to you know look at your time. If you work an eight to five, nine to six job, eleven to seven then there's just nothing you can do with that time block right now. It's already taken. And just be okay with it. Throw out from your mind the fact that you wish you had more time because right now you don't. Um, and so really look at your, your day and find the opportunity, the, the window of opportunity, right? Is it that you need to get up earlier in the morning perhaps and maybe do an hour of something, 30 minutes of something, you know, prior to your departure from the house. I don't know if you have kids or whatever, and that's, you know, because life is totally different when you have kids. Or it may be in the evening time. What is that time block that you have that, you know, you can choose to work your business? And you have to look at your life and everything that entails in your life and know what's going to work for you. I couldn't even, I couldn't possibly give you a recipe of what will work for you because there's so many elements to our lives. And we have to just look at our lives and find out when do we have time. And like I say, if you only have 30 minutes in the morning and then when you come home from work, if you can only find 30 minutes or an hour to do something on your business and make those the most income producing activities that you do. So if you are in a company where, you know, you have parties in, you know, you may have to figure out how to have a virtual party at, you know, at, at night or something on Facebook, right? Those are things you may have to learn how to leverage on the internet and different platforms so that you can maximize your time because you can't possibly drive across town and do a party and come back home and do those types of things in an hour or hour and a half. If you're in a business like mine, it requires you to actually list items and do different things and, you know, research products and stuff. So maybe 30 minutes before you go to work, you are going, you're researching what products you're going to list for that night. Then when you come home that night, then you're listing those particular items. Items. You're getting the pictures, you're doing your, what do you need to do for the listing, the title and everything. And if you only get to list five items a day, that's more than doing nothing, right? So it's a matter of just looking at our schedules and saying, okay, where is the opportunity? I'll maximize the opportunity and then I'll just keep going because I know that whatever the situation I'm in right now, it has to be only temporary, right? That's 
that's the that's the position you come from. This play, this right here is only temporary. So I'm gonna do whatever that wherever whatever it is I have to do now because I know I'm in a temporary temporary position, and then I'll know things will change for me, and then I'll have to readjust my schedule once things change because everything changes, seasons changes. You know, due season always comes. So I hope Michelle, this has helped you today with you know how you know, and don't look at it as a monster, right? Because if you look at it as a monster, it'll be a bigger and bigger monster just take little bitty you know a little bit bitty chunks and do what it is that you can do like i said if it's just 30 minutes do the 30 minutes right and you've managed 30 minutes of time <laughs> all right so you guys this is keisha bass with ask keisha bass these um, will actually be coming out every single wednesday now if you have a question that you want to ask me okay you can send an email to admin that's a d m a n at KeishaBass.com. That's admin at KeishaBass.com. And we will actually answer, well, I will, I will actually answer your question live and in video, give you a shout out and credit and everything for asking the question. All right, you guys, love you so much. I will see you all next week. Have an amazing week. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to check out my blog, KeishaBass.com, and get access to my free training, my free tips and tricks that you can use to grow your business in a big way this year. Be sure to check it out.